why? Why are y'all trying to block this so bad? I haven't heard a real understandable, justified reason as to why yet. It just feels like y'all doing it purposefully to be spiteful, just to make him look like a failure at it. That song you just heard is my new joint. It's called Blow a Bag. Be sure to stream it, add it to your playlist, send it to your friends, all that good stuff. If you like what you heard, I appreciate you for checking it out. Let's get ready to get into what's hot in these blogs. First things first, another day, another Diddy story. There's this tape that's apparently being shopped around right now that involves Diddy and, uh, younger male star is what the New York Post is reporting. This person is apparently an A-list celebrity. I'm not sure if they were like how old they were at the time of this alleged recording. There's a lawyer who's representing one of Diddy's accusers separately, has nothing to do with this video. She apparently has become the the face and the, the mouthpiece for this this talk about this tape she says she was contacted by the person who has possession of the tape trying to get her to help them sell it they wanted to sell it to the person that's in this video this young young well he's not young anymore but this a-list male celebrity they wanted this lawyer ariel mitchell kid to shop it to that person for what they call a, a catch and kill where you stop it in its tracks. You buy it from this person and it goes away. I guess this person, I'm assuming they were contacted based off the New York Post article. Actually, it's sources close to this person that say they are hor horrified. In that moment, they were victimized and they feel like they're being victimized again. The sources are saying the person is trying to ignore the chatter about the video. So now with them not taking the bait and buying this video, this person who claims they don't want to sell it, they don't want it to be out there is now putting it on open market for other buyers. So to me, it sounds like you definitely want it out there. It's a money grab at this point. You have this footage, you feel it's worth something and you want to get your payday out of it. So apparently there are two major networks that are in talks and a bidding war for this footage, which is crazy when you think about it. Y'all really about to blow a bag on this video for the purpose of, I guess, just to have this exclusive and you could release it. Despite the person in the video, according to Ariel, who says she's seen the footage, she says she doesn't think the person know that they were being recorded, I guess from the angles or whatever. So this person, however old they were at the time, is unaware they're being recorded. Now you got somebody trying to buy this footage for I'm guessing the purposes of releasing it. And it's like, how do you even do that legally? Because this person was clearly recorded I illegally. So it's kind of like, how does this, how does this play out in the long run? Ariel who's doing this like press tour right now about this tape. She said, and I quote, if I was dumb, I would do something about this. And the only way to do anything is to do the catch and kill. That's the only way to ensure that it doesn't come out. My thing with that is who's to say this is even the only copy of this tape. I pay you a hundred thousand, whatever you're asking for to do this catch and kill and thinking it's all good. And then there's another copy. Let alone, there are screenshots of this tape that is out there because y'all sending it to the people who y'all trying to get to buy this tape to prove that you have possession of it. So there's these screenshots that's out there. There's the, this video clips of it because Ariel says she's seen it that's out there. So it's like, how, how do we scrub it? So yeah, no, I'm not going to buy this. I'm not going to pay for it. So 
as damning as it may be for it to come out, I'm not about to be extorted for money. So there's that. And when when that point was brought up to Ariel by the person who was interviewing her, they like, how 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 is this legal? How can they they do this? Because it's illegal. She said that that would be up to the person who buys the footage to figure out. The person selling it just wants to get it out their hands and in a nutshell, get money for it. But it'd be up to the person who buys it to figure out the legal aspect on how they can get it out there. Someone said, it sounds like Ariel is a part of it. And low key, when you watch the video of her in this interview and, and talking about it and trying to tell this person like, yeah, I think you should buy it, blah, blah, blah. If, I don't know. Are you getting a cut from this? Are you the person selling it? Because it's like, why you? Out of everybody and anybody that could be contacted to, to try to sell this video, why you? I mean, you're not the only lawyer representing somebody that's involved in this Diddy case. I don't know. It's a little, some a little funny style happening over here. I don't know, Ariel. Someone said, Ariel says she didn't want the tape because she isn't sure if the third per person in the video is of age. So it just, it brings me back to what would they do with this footage once they get it? These two major networks, who I could probably think of who they are on top of my head, but I'm not going to say. Like the point of you buying this is for what? To ruin this person's life? Like, I don't know. And the person selling it, you ain't, you ain't no good, honestly. Because if you really was trying to do some good, you claim you don't want this to be out. I get you feeling like this has some value to it. So look, I'm going to sell it to you. But once they're not interested, is, is uh, morals in the room with us? Like, can you just be like, I right, F it. <laughs> but nah, <laughs> the rent is due and I need my money. So I'm going to take it to somebody else who will buy it now. Screw you. In other words, I was trying to help you, but now <laughs> I guess that's the only thing that I could think of was going through your mind. But. All I know is this will probably come out one way or another, be it these, this bidding war comes to term and they buy it, or even if it doesn't, somehow, some way, this is going to come out. It's just it's inevitable that this will leak. It's too many people involved. It's too many emails that's been sent around because i know y'all not just meeting in person at a coffee shop to show this these pictures in this video you're likely sending it you're sending little snippets and stuff like it's bound to get into the wrong hand somebody's going to end up leaking it and it's unfortunate for the person in the video that's the biggest thing this person who is the victim here if this is actually a real video they are a victim a victim because they didn't know they were being recorded and now you have these people holding it over your head how many ever years later for the sake of clicks. Somebody said they probably should just get ahead of it and say that they have been recorded without their knowledge so they can control a narrative the best they can. That's actually a good idea. And that would actually take the value out of the footage because it's already out there. But you know, people have their own reasons why they might not want to, you know, reveal, reveal that about themselves. They may feel it could like harm them in some way or their image, depending who this, who this person is. But that is not a bad idea to get, to get ahead of it and take, take the value right out of that tape. So now that's the biggest F y'all. But yeah, that's that. Uh, let's move on. What else is hiding these blogs? Biden. His uh, student loan forgiveness plan has been blocked yet again. Is this whole back and forth thing is like it's it's happening, then it's not happening. There's some glimmer of hope, and then it's blocked yet again. That's where we at right now at the block point. So there was a judge in um, Georgia, I believe it was, who said that the state lacked the legal standing to challenge the relief plan. Biden's administration was looking at that like, okay, there's some hope. This judge, though, sent it to Missouri to be, I guess, ruled on. This judge in Missouri uh, 
Trump appointed judge, might I add, blocked it. Again, his name is Matthew Schelp. <laughs> he ruled to place a preliminary injunction on Biden's relief plan. And as a result, the U.S. Department of Department of Education is prohibited from moving forward with student loan forgiveness until he can fully rule on the case. I don't even understand what this whole thing is even about. Because why? Why are y'all trying to block this so bad? I haven't heard a real understandable, justified reason as to why yet. It just feels like y'all doing it purposefully to be spiteful just to make him look like a failure at it and for there's a lot of people on social media who aren't fully i guess paying attention to the the bouncing ball here because so many people are like oh biden's just saying he wants to relieve loans and look nothing's happening and not paying attention to why it's not happening and also forgetting the fact that there are so many people who had their loans forgiven already so many people have had their loans forgiven already. Even when the courts tried to block it the first time, Biden found a way around it and relieved so many people's student loans. I know someone personally, my best friend, got his student loans uh, forgiven. So, so many people did, but if you read the comment section on Instagram, you would think no one got theirs relieved because you didn't. But pay attention to why it's not happening. Maybe eventually we'll get to it to where these people have their loans forgiven, maybe. Let's move on. What else is hiding these blogs? There's a dentist, well, dentist, I should say, who was arrested for practicing without his dental license. He is known as the veneer specialist in Atlanta. And he has an Instagram page with over 150,000 followers. He's done this service on so many people. He has so many clients who post their success stories of how their teeth were before and after, praising him. He's offering veneer raffles. He's even offering to train people on how to implant veneers and he's charging them i think they said six thousand per session so you too can learn how to do this illegally i guess since 2021 authorities claim dilla has been illegally offering veneer services that only licensed dentists in georgia can perform fanny willis noted the severity of the issue she said this is an illegitimate operation the problem is the consequences are to one's health she highlighted the dangers posed by improperly installing veneers. I don't know the process to get licensed for veneers. I don't know where he learned how to do them from, but apparently for the last three years, he's been doing, I guess, a good enough job that all of these people are coming to him and they have the mouth to show for it. Some hope for the people who actually were part of his clients other than the, the legal aspect of if something were to go wrong, you don't have the proper paperwork to, to follow that. There's so many people who learn things without having official schooling and are great at it, like masters of it, and just don't have that actual piece of paper saying, I can do this. So all is not lost. If I was one of the people who got work done by this person and found out they were unlicensed, I would probably want my money back. I would probably want to sue to get my money back for sure. Someone says, so he was literally lying through his teeth. <laughs> That's a fact. That's an actual <laughs> fact, lying through his teeth. I don't know, Brandon Dillard, you might uh, got to figure some things out because they own you, they own you, but yeah. So that's going to conclude what's hot in the blogs for this week. Thank you for watching. If you rock with your boy, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, it's called Hollywood and Friends, which means I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the topics I just discussed. I appreciate you. New episodes every Monday night. Until next time. Deuces.